Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Now this week we have taken a topic that is very relevant, I should say, to the contemporary society we all live in. And not only that, it is also relevant to the upcoming medical counseling that we all are going to face in a month or two from now on. We have taken a career, uh, we have taken a topic as careers in Ayurveda or rather we call it as BAMS. So in the next few minutes, we are going to see what is Ayurveda, what is BAMS, what are the career opportunities that are there in Ayurveda, Ayurvedic science and where to study and then eventually the pros and cons of Ayurveda. Right. So from, you know, if you look at any retail shop that you go, an organized retail shop that, that sells any products, you know, today the shelf space of that retail shop is more or less dominated by Ayurvedic products, right? You must have uh, seen all these Ayurvedic products in, in all the retail, any retail shop that you visit, you know, from dominating the retail space to even people now have swapped coffee uh, to drink turmeric milk. It's an Ayurvedic product. People drink turmeric milk in place of coffee. Not only that, you know, people are slowly replacing mouthwash with coconut oil pulling. So Ayurveda is there everywhere. It has come a very, very long way, I should say. Interestingly, I mean, you might not know the statistics. And today, you know, in India, 41% of personal care market is dominated by Ayurveda. That's a huge statistics by A.C. Nielsen. And the market size of Ayurveda is today 18,500 crores a year in India. So that's a huge market size for Ayurveda and Ayurvedic products. Now BAMS, of course, has gained huge popularity and relevance in today's context. And not only that, it has opened up a very lucrative career, I should say. Now before we see about more about BAMS, we will see what Ayurveda is all about. Uh, you must have be, uh, wondered that some brands like Patanjali, which is an exclusive Ayurveda company, even Hindustan Unilever or rather Unilever, which is a, by far the largest fast moving consumer goods company, have a separate brand in the form of Ayush. You also know Dabur is, Dabur is also an exclusive, more or less an exclusive Ayurveda company. So you might wonder what is Ayurveda, what is BAMS, what can I do as a student to get in if I, if I study Ayurveda? This video is for you. So what is Ayurveda? So Ayurveda is referred as a science of life in ancient Sanskrit. It has been an integral part of Indian medical system for the last 2000 plus years. So that shows how ancient this practice is. It is an, I mean, an Ayurvedic practitioner uses various natural and holistic techniques to heal the patients. Now the technique or practice could be uh, it could change from patient to patient. It could be, uh, I mean, it's customized from patient to patient. It could be, some could be in the form of diet. It could be some uh, in the form of lifestyle changes, yoga, meditation, in addition to all these things, some kind of supplements and therapy. So that's how Ayurveda works. Moving on, what are the career opportunities that exist in Ayurveda? So once you finish your Ayurveda program, which we will see next, BAMS, what are the career opportunities that exist? The first thing naturally is, you become an Ayurveda doctor. So by becoming an Ayurveda doctor, you can practice by setting up your own clinic or work in a hospital that's attached to government or private. So that's the first career opportunity. The second career opportunity that I can think of is starting of retail shop. A retail shop uh, is something where not only the FMCG, the fast moving consumer goods shop, but also the pharma shop, say Ayurveda pharmacy shop, where you can tie up with pharmacists or pharmaceutical companies that manufacture Ayurveda medicine and then start selling. If you, if you look at your neighboring, uh, you know, a downtown that you are there in any of the place in India, you will have Ayurveda medical shop. Now, there will be a practitioner who will sit in Ayurveda medical shop. He is a doctor. He or she is a doctor. So, he would have tied up or they would have tied up rather with a, with a pharmaceutical company, sell medicines and also consult the patient. So, that's the second professional career opportunity. The third professional career opportunity definitely is in the form of a researcher. Many companies, pharmaceutical companies especially, they hire Ayurveda professionals, Ayurveda doctors for the research and clinical development. So that's the third career opportunity. Fourth career opportunity that I can think of is being a teacher, being a professor or, or lecturer where you can work in colleges and, and teach Ayurveda as a subject, as, as, as a course. There is a course like BAMS where you can teach for that program. Now, how to become an Ayurveda doctor? 
it's, it's simple. I mean, you have to take physics, chemistry, biology group in grade 11 and 12 and NEET is must. So, NEET is a must for uh, becoming an Ayurveda doctor. So, once you clear the NEET, you take BAMS. So, BAMS, we will see what it is. It's a five and a half year program. It is a proper medical program that is approved and recognized by Indian Medicine Central Council Act 1970. So, it is a proper legal program in India and upon completing of BAMS, a person is awarded with a doctor or Vaidya. So, which means you can prefix, you know, doctor as a, uh, as a profession of once you complete your BAMS. Now, what is, uh, uh, where to study? It's another important thing, where to study? There are good institutes, government institutes like National Institute of Ayurveda, NIA in Jaipur and then you have Ayurveda and Yunani, Tibbiya College in Delhi, then you have Banaras Hindu University, BHU, Varanasi. Government colleges are, in, uh, are offering Ayurveda programs in almost all the states and then you also have private colleges offering Ayurveda as a program. As always, the pros and cons, uh, there is tremendous amount of prestige and respect associated with this profession. It provides, you can, as an Ayurveda practitioner, you can provide meaningful service to the society. Not only that, the job security is, is, is quite good in this program and the demand for Ayurveda professional is very, very high. Few cons here and there, the training route to this program is quite long. You know, it, it's five and a half years program after your 12th to finish your bachelor's and in case you want to pursue your master's, it's another two and a half year program. So the training, the coaching is, is quite tedious one. Not only that, it also takes longer period for you to establish as an Ayurveda practitioner because once you finish your course, not everybody walks into Ayurveda as a naturally, right? So, it will take some time for you as a professional to establish in this space. More importantly, if you are, uh, Ayurveda as a course involves quite a lot of Sanskrit in, in, in because the origination point is Sanskrit, right? So, in case you don't, uh, if you haven't, I mean, if you aren't exposed to Sanskrit till grade 11 or 12, you might find it slightly, you know, a challenge. So, that's one of, but again, it is definitely a workable solution. Concluding, to conclude, you know, Ayush as a ministry has been set up very seriously as a ministry by the central government, which means you have a dedicated ministry for Ayush, Ayush is Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha, Homeopathy, etc. Today, you know, last year you saw postgraduate in Ayurveda, that is uh, uh, someone who has pursued postgraduation in Ayurveda can perform up to 58 surgeries. So, it is no more, you know, a program that can uh, teach you uh, only the Ayurvedic medicine, you can also provide perform surgery. The time to pursue Ayurveda is deep, deep time I should say now and there is a lot of positive things that are there in Ayurveda at this point in time. So, go ahead if you ask me if you are interested in biology, if you are interested in medicine, if you want to choose an alternate career, go ahead with Ayurveda and spread the Indian medical way, medicinal way to a large extent. So, on, so that's all I have this week and in case you have any doubts, you can always ping me, my number is there and, and uh, you know, until next week with a brand new video, stay safe, take care and do subscribe to my YouTube channel which is www.youtube.com slash careers. Thank you.